everyone. Um, today I'm going to be doing another fragrance review. It's on a fragrance that's new out this year. Um, I think it was released in the spring this year, and that's when I got it anyway. It's a flanker of a well-known perfume. If you're a fume head like me, you'll know which perfume I'm talking about. Um, it is Eau de Chloe. Um, so it's clearly, I mean, look at the bottle, look at the colour, it's clearly a springtime fragrance before you've even read up on the notes or anything. Um, I'm not a fan of the original Chloe, this is kind of a well-known fact. I I don't hate the original Chloe, but it's it's just like rose gone mad. Yeah, it's, it's rose gone bonkers, I just can't agree with Chloe. So, but I love the bottle, and so when I saw this like cute little um, new fragrance, it, like sat on the shelves next to the original Chloe, it was one I had to kind of grab it and spray it everywhere because it's just so adorable. <laughs> and it was kind of love at first smell, and kind of a couple of weeks later after first smelling it, I bought a bottle. Um, I've got the 30 ml version, but I think it it also comes in the 50. And I'm not sure what the big size is. It might be 100, or it might be 75 or 80 mil. I think it's 75 mil, but I've not actually researched that one, so I'm guessing. But I think it's useful to see the bottle sizes when they're smaller because you always have the big clunky testers out. And with the Chloe bottles, the testers are quite a bit bigger than these bottles. They're, they're a lot taller. So it does look quite different when you end up getting the smaller size to the testers that you see hanging out on the shelves. Um, so first I'm going to talk you through the packaging. So the box it comes in is very, very simple. It's kind of um, vintage chic maybe, I could say. It just says load of, Chloe, load of Chloe on it. And there's just the barcode and just your ingredients on the back. And it's got this green colour for the, you know, the springtime fresh. It is an order toilette, as you would probably expect from a spring-summer fragrance called Lo Lo Um I like the packaging. I think it's it's simple, it's chic. It reminds me of the, you know, the Miss Dior packaging, which is not unlike this. It's very basic. And I like the, do we call it, typography, maybe. I like the typing of Chloe. I think it looks really cute. Um, now I'll take you through the gorgeous bottle. Again, vintage chic. Kind of looks like something you'd find on a, you know, a really classy dresser from the 50s or 60s. It just says Chloe on it. You can see that. It's got this gorgeous like ribbing all along the edge. Uh, the bottle is pretty see-through. It's just got the um, batch number on, and there is some information on there, but you can't really read it. And then look, it's got this cute little raggedy, raggedy ribbon on it. I mean, I suppose you could remove that if you really wanted, but it just looks gorgeous on there, so I'll keep it on. I even like the clunky lid. I mean, this lid is really clunky, but I just think it really suits the bottle. It just looks gorgeous on it. So I think the bottle suits the fragrance really, really well. Uh, I'll just spray the fragrance onto a... Prada Candy tester strip because I do have a Les Chloe tester strip somewhere but no idea where that is. Mm. So it opens as probably expected with a massive burst of citrus. Um, I've read on two different sources it says it has lemon in it and another one says grapefruit. And to be fair it could be that it's not it's not too grapefruity. If, if it has got grapefruit in it, it's not a massive grapefruit fragrance. Not like this one, Lacoste Pink, which is a really now that's a massive sweet grapefruit fragrance. It's not that kind of um, you know fresh or sugared grapefruit smell. It is more the lemon, I'd say. Some people have said iced lemonade, and I think that's a really good description of it. It does kind of smell like, you know, a fresh glass of country lemonade with ice in it. You know, drinking in your garden in the summer, it's just really nice. 
and that's quickly followed up by this powdery note that some people will compare to you know, like washing powder like clothes softener that kind of thing people will compare it to that because that is probably the closest that you can that I can think of that it smelled like so you've got kind of a citrusy powdery smell um, the original Chloe also had that wash powder smell but that was just too much rose the rose on that was just suffocating whereas this one you do get the rose in the heart rose water in fact so it's, it's a little bit of a softer rose than maybe in the original Chloe you get rose water and it is powdery I think that's what gives it its kind of vintagey smell like I always think the original and this one kind of have it like a, a soapy kind of clean but over, overly clean smell it's, it's kind of too much clean although, although it's, it's not unpleasant but some people won't like that washing powder um, kind of side to it it is, it's a very sharp fragrance, it's very kind of bitter, sharp, um, I think that's why some a lot of people are saying that they don't like it, but I, I like the sharpness. I just think it suits some, spring and summer really well, that overly clean, overly powdered kind of um, smell. Um, what's I thinking of? I was going to say something and I forgot. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, th I think that those kind of powdery, cleaner than clean scents, I mean, Marc Jacobs, Daisy and Daisy Oh So Fresh kind of had an overly clean smell and I think the original Lola, um, I sprayed it on earlier but I don't think I'll be able to, oh, I can still smell it a little bit, the original Lola, Marc Jacobs did have that kind of powdery, um, overly clean undertone to it as well. I think they are here to stay for a little while, those kinds of um, you know, wash and powder, scrubbed up fragrances that are so clean, the like baby bottom powder cream, <laughs> I don't know, just, just so clean. I think they're, they're here to stay for a little while. Um, so <laughs> it's bad news if you don't like those kind of fragrances, but I, I don't hate them. I hate the original Chloe, but I like this one, I like Matt Jacobs Lola, I like the Daisies. I don't mind that kind of smell so you know that's good so you've got the the rose water in the middle and then in the base there is patchouli but don't freak out patchouli haters because this isn't a dirty muddy gloopy patchouli this if there is patchouli in this which I seriously doubt it is on a leash it's not you know, a misty or sherry fragrance where we can definitely smell the patchouli or a, a angel tiramugale for it. It's not like that at all. It is, this patchouli is on a leash. It's tame. So it, it doesn't really dry down to that kind of funky herb, not herby, funky kind of earthy, kind of dirty smell. It doesn't get like that at all. I think the powderiness does get sharper as it goes along. So in the opening you have got the you know, the fruits, the fresh burst of grapefruit or lemon, whichever one is the truth. If maybe they're both the truth, I don't know. Um it, it's got a very beautiful magical opening and then you get the powderiness and the rose, a little little bit of rose, not overly rosy like Chloe. It does get a little bit whereas the original Chloe will have, kinda of have like a soapy like a vintage soap kind of vintage soap that's the symbol for vintage soap apparently the vintage soap kind of smell this one is a bit more washing powder kind of a heart I don't know I'm making it sound really bad and it's not like a really bad smell but I just think some some people really won't like it because it's, it doesn't smell like a perfume like a, you know a classic perfume it's a little bit more a little bit more chemical than other perfumes because it has got that artificial kind of washing powder smell a little bit and you got the rose and then it I think the rose and the washing powder stay right to the end washing powder is not a note in this I should add I'm just calling it the washing powder phase because 
that's what it is basically <laughs> but they stay right till the end um in terms of lasting power it's not great but it's not terrible either you're getting about three to four hours which is probably what you would expect for an odor toilet let's be serious um yeah with a you know fragrance called Lo de Chloe you're not gonna expect it to last all day you want it to kind of you know spray it and just be able to go out in the sunshine and enjoy it so it's great for kind of school college maybe even work if people around you haven't got like really sensitive noses to fragrance because it is quite strong and um, while it lasts it is a really strong fragrance people will definitely notice you although they might just think you've got really nice like clothes like washing so what's the word clothes powder that's not the word for it is it <laughs> um what's the word for it <laughs> brain's gone dead clothes powder washing powder yeah washing powder um they might just think you've got like a really strong washing powder for your clothes maybe but yeah i won't wear it around to work around people with sensitive noses it is really strong um, but it does work great in the sun I have tried it on a really hot day just like sat in the garden sunbathing with a book and it's fine it doesn't don't give me it although I'd, I'm not too sensitive to he headaches but I do occasionally get a headache a few perfumes give me a headache um, one of them is Couture Couture by Juice Couture gives me a headache sometimes and the other one is Can Can by Paris Hilton, which is a a gorgeous fragrance I will review it for you guys it's beautiful but if I wear it in the Sun it does give me a headache but this one doesn't give me a headache it's um, light and fresh enough not to give me a headache but it is if you're you know inside it, it is a really strong sharp fragrance it's fresh but it is strong and I'm not sure how those two can go together but they do but overall even the cap's cute without the lid it's adorable i love this but overall it is a really nice um scent for teenagers young adults um you know anyone really who just wants a really nice fresh clean clean cleaner than clean smell you know the patrol is on a leash the rose is on a leash but the the powder is everywhere um yeah so it's ideal for everyone who don't have sensitive noses and you want a really fresh um, springtime scent that they can wear in the sun and yeah you like those ingredients I suppose the, the citrus and the rose and the very very clean powder um, another thing is the free gift that I got with it and um, now I'm not sure why they gave me a free gift because I think you're only supposed to get it with purchases of 50 millilitres or over and I've, as you know, guys know I have the 30 ml but they gave me the free gift so I'm not going to complain so it comes in a box like this just says load of Chloe okay. and it is like a little kind of makeup pouch or you can use it as pencil case maybe it's got like a cute little plaque there that says you know, you can see that Chloe and Silver, and it's a. I'm not sure what kind of effect that is. Maybe it's just leather, but it's kind of a little bit marbled. Kind of a marbled green, and it's got two kind of chunky zips that both say Chloe on them, and it opens up to a space. It's got Chloe on the inside as well. It's just a little pouch. Um, it's not like the best free gift I've ever got. Um, I much prefer my Vivian Westwood pouch that I've got with my two, my two Vivian Westwood fragrances but it's okay I've used it like when I've gone to sleepovers to take my um, like cos cosmetics and um, toiletries and stuff I think it's good for that um, I'm going to Paris in two weeks yay and I think I might take this um, to yeah put like my toothbrush and makeup and things in and um, it's quite useful for that so yeah, I've seen them selling on eBay, so if anyone wants one, I'm sure you can find one easily without having to purchase the fragrance. So, yeah, thanks for watching this review. 
hopefully I've got a Vivian Westwood package on my way so I've, I might do a haul video later on this week when I get that hopefully I'll get it <laughs> maybe the postman will like take it home with him but yeah so thanks for watching the video if you have watched it please leave a comment um, if you've got this perfume tell me what you think of it if you haven't and you want it still leave a comment just leave a comment please <laughs> and um, thanks for watching keep watching my videos Okay, bye.